Welcome to the Buccaneers Observer. This is Ralph Phillips. Jalen Ramsey was not happy with the offense. Their offense was atrocious. All they needed was one first down to run out the clock, and they could not do it. But don't get me wrong, the defense wasn't blameless. Yes, they stopped the Bucs from scoring once and put the ball back in the hands of the offense. But they were called upon to do it again, and they failed big time. Let's take a look at what happened. With two minutes and two seconds left on the clock, it's third and six from the Rams six. The Rams are leading 13 to Tampa Bay's nine. The Buccaneers need a score here. What happens, though, is as you'll see, Tom Brady goes back to throw. Getting a little bit of pressure up the middle. But he has nobody open. Locked down. He's covered. Locked down. Locked down. Brady ends up trying to squeeze it in here, but boom, Jalen Ramsey knocks the ball away. Next play, this is after the two-minute warning. This is fourth and six. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have got a score here. We go out. Everybody's covered. Everybody's covered. Nobody's open. Mike Evans is double-teamed. That's where Brady goes, because when you're in desperate times, you throw it up to Mike Evans. Ramsey bats the ball down. So that seems like a good deal. The Rams get the ball back. First and 10 on their 7, with 152 left to go. All they got to do is get a first down. The Buccaneers only have two timeouts. If the Rams get a first down, game is over. And there they go nowhere. Then Daryl Henderson up the middle for no gain. Tackled by big boy Vita. Let's see what happens here. Here you go. Runner comes up. There's nowhere to go. White. There's no gap for him to go through. One opens up right here. You see Vita take his man and toss him to the side and make the tackle. Boom. Big boy Vita. 146, second and 10. What do you do? You give it to Cooper Cup. He goes around the end and slides. Now, this was a disaster. I do not know what they were thinking here. It's man coverage. You see Jamel Dean is covering Cup. Well, watch what happens. You get 24. This is man coverage now. He's covering this guy. You've got 22 is covering the tight end, but the tight end blocks. So 22 sees that Cooper Cup is getting the ball going this way. So 22 runs over this way. Dean is covering 10. He sees it as well. So he's running over there too. Unfortunately, Carlton Davis does not see it and causes a pile up here. Boom. Look at this. That could have been disastrous, but fortunately for the Buccaneers, Cooper decides to slide. I do not know what he was thinking here. This is a total brain fart on his part. If you look at it from the end zone angle, you can see he definitely had room to get the first down. Look at this. Boom. All three. That was a mess. And right there, turning the corner, look at all this space he's got here. All he's got to do is get to this marker. And there is no way on earth you're going to tell me he couldn't have ran to there and dove for that first down. But instead, he decides to slide. That was a big mistake on his part. So that leaves it third and five, 139 left to go. They tried Daryl Henderson up the middle. This is a boneheaded play by the Rams. I don't know what they were thinking. This is a dumb play, dumb play. For one, you get – man goes into motion, 18. You see – Right away at this is zone. Nobody follows him. Linebacker shift. So now you got a heavy side over here. Now this is a crash right. So they try to push the whole defensive line this away. Henderson gets the ball and he's supposed to try and find the line, a gap up in there somewhere. And as you can imagine, nothing happening. There's nothing. Look at this. It's a big mess. So you've got nine being held, but he's able to reach out 
and get a part of Henderson. 35 comes in, unblocked, was designed that way, and uh, he's able to just wrap up the tackle. Boom. And even if that wouldn't have happened, you had 32 coming up, and he would have got, here's the, the first down line, he would have got there before Henderson could have got through any gap. So this was just a dumb, dumb, dumb play call. And, you know, right away when 18 goes into motion and Stafford sees that it's zone and the Buccaneers are set for the run. I mean, good Lord, look at this box. <laughs> you should have audibled out of it. Plus, 18 goes out. He doesn't block anybody. He's a wasted man. So now you've got 10 on 11. Actually, you have 9 on 11 because Stafford was out of the picture too. And it's just a very dumb play. Stafford should have audibled out of it to a pass play or even called a timeout and rethought about it. So the Rams punt. Tom Brady gets the ball back with 44 seconds left, starting from the Tampa Bay 40 score. Still 13-9. He gets a beautiful pass to Cade Otten. Look at this. He gets right in this empty space. I don't think that was supposed to happen. I don't think that space was supposed to be that empty. <laughs> Somebody screwed up there, I'm pretty sure. Can't figure it out, though. So anyhow, he gets that pass. Gets up. Gets a couple more extra yards. Looking at it from the end zone angle, you'll see Aaron Donald. Going up against Mason. Aaron Donald beats him at first. Boom. And then Mason recovers and gets back on it. That's nice. Sweet. Okay. So after a spike, we got 28 seconds left. Starting off from the Rams 32. And I remember we Buccaneers have got to get a touchdown. Rams do pretty good coverage, except nobody's covering. Seven. Fournette. He catches the ball, runs out of bounds, stop the clock. Let's see what the offensive line does on that play. Aaron Donald goes up against Nick Leverett. Leverett holds his own here. Sweet. And if you noticed, Donovan Smith takes down 54. Who tried to get fancy with a spin move. Not having it. Next play, 24 seconds left. Third and six on the Rams, 28 we we'll go to Scotty Miller for a quick 14-yard pass. On this play again, you'll see nobody covers seven. Whether Scotty Miller would have caught this ball or not, I think seven would have been able to get just as much yardage, but it would have taken more time off the clock. Looking at it from the end zone angle, here's Aaron Donald going up against Leverett again. Good blocking by Leverett. Totally shuts him down. 19 seconds left from the Rams. 14, another quick pass to Scotty Miller, who gets out of bounds. Rams are playing soft prevent coverage. Same play from the end zone angle. You see Aaron Donald's lined up on the right side this time, and he takes a play off. What's he doing there? He doesn't do a whole lot of anything. Next play, you get a pass interference call on... Mike Evans, 13 seconds left to go. You got to score a touchdown. You get one here to Cade Otten. Nice little fake block. Goes out on a bootleg. Boom. Touchdown. Looking at it from the end zone angle. This is great play action. Boom. Right there. Brady doesn't really try a whole lot, though. He just kind of sticks it out. But as you can see, it gets all the defenders going this way. They are looking. And most of them stay. He stays, he stays. They're still looking at Fournette. Dang, just for last, let's watch this last play. This is fun. These things are always fun. But as a Buccaneers fan, I was nervous. Yeah. <laughs> All kinds of stuff going on here. My favorite, though, is Vita. What's he doing way down the field, big boy? He's just watching the play go on. He ain't going to chase nobody down. 
Let's see, how does he get it up back there? He starts on the defensive line, rushes, goes back, boom, ends up all the way down the field. Oh, there it is. Look at 59. 59 slams whoever this is to the ground. Bam. <laughs> nice two-handed pass there. Ooh. So there you have it. Jalen Ramsey had all the reason in the world to say what he said. Now, should he have said it to the world? Probably not. Am I happy that the Rams are a mess and this adds to it? Absolutely. Things are getting very interesting in the NFL. The Bucks are back on top of the division with a big game coming up in Germany Sunday against the hot Seattle Seahawks. The Buccaneers are just getting warmed up. I ain't scared. All I've got to say is, Go Bucks.